barely after 9 a.m. and my kitchen is a mess again. Awesome. Hey guys, if you are new, my name is Vanessa and today I am bringing you into my kitchen. So I just emptied the refrigerator that is in our laundry room. I used to stay up all night trying to find my place, chasing me on lights and looking for some kind of trace to lead me out of darkness, give me a little faith, something to make me stronger, someone who could like the way Then you came to me. because we are getting a new one so this one that is coming today hopefully this is gonna this is the second time that they've rescheduled so I'm hoping it comes today but regardless I'm still gonna go ahead and move the one that we have into the garage but we ordered this a while ago this refrigerator a while ago like maybe a month or two after COVID started because if you guys are not new you know kind of the fridge situation I guess I haven't talked about it too much but we had a really nice fridge, but it does not fit in this house. Just the space that is cut out in this kitchen and in the laundry room, there's not enough room for it. So we had it in the garage and it was just too big and too nice of a fridge to be in the garage really. So we sold that one and we really, we need two fridges for the amount of food that I buy and prep and freezer meals and all of that. I like having the space to keep my things organized instead of just all shoved in one refrigerator. And I do a lot of things here on the channel, so it's just really nice to be able to have the extra space. So we ordered one that would fit perfectly and the one that we wanted, the like the style that we were really looking for, and we had to cancel that order because it was just a cluster. Like so many things went on because of everybody ordering things they said that it was ours and then like somebody else picked it up i don't know it was very very confusing so we canceled that order and we ended up getting something a lot smaller than we originally wanted that is now i don't know why i'm going over here it's now in the laundry room um, but that's not what we wanted then about two months ago now everything is starting to get back in stock and we were like okay let's try again our fridge was there and it's actually cheaper than the first time we ordered it so i was like i'm gonna go ahead and get it and like you know fingers crossed it works out now the delivery was supposed to happen already and it got rescheduled so i'm like oh i really hope that it's not you know it's coming today because today it's supposed to come i got the confirmation yesterday i had to click on the link and all of that so i'm really hoping it does not get rescheduled and it does get delivered today but I'm gonna bring you guys along regardless. <laughs> so, and I'm gonna move that refrigerator into the garage anyway. So, we are going to keep the refrigerator that is in our laundry room, and we're just gonna use it as like our, you know, it's got a tiny little freezer on the top. I'll show you. I do have some laundry going. I like to start laundry first thing in the morning. So, it does have a little freezer on the top, and we're just gonna use it as our drink fridge. So, I already, you guys already saw me empty it out <laughs> and I did have a little trouble with that bin so that bin staying in there I had to take all the drinks out anyway so I'm gonna give this a nice clean move it into the garage and we will just use it as our like drink fridge or if there's just something extra that we need to put in here we can but the fridge that is getting delivered today again fingers crossed is what we really wanted for in this laundry room and you guys will see like just the layout I'm really excited about so my kitchen is full of food. I did not empty the freezer because I feel like that stuff is easier to keep in there and move. It doesn't matter if it moves around a little bit, but I wanted to get everything out of the refrigerator and not move the refrigerator full of food. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that fridge cleaned out and then, because it shouldn't take me that long, it's not that dirty, and then get it in the garage. And then we're gonna put this stuff back in that one and then we're going to organize, reorganize everything when the new one gets delivered. So this is gonna be kind of like a fridge. You guys get to see what's in my fridge. Um, little tour, clean out, organization, all that stuff wrapped into one. <laughs> When I'm 
Okay, so I cannot get this over the little door hump thing into the garage by myself. It's too hard. Um, so, good thing my husband Mark only works 10 minutes from the house. So I texted him, I was like, hey, do you have any meetings going on today? Can you come home for lunch um, to help me move this <laughs> so I can get it out in the garage. So I'm about to show you guys what it would look like if we only had one fridge in this house, the way that I a bulk shop and meal prep and all of that. So this bad boy has got to stay right here for a couple hours. It is already 10 o'clock. I tried and huffed and puffed and I was like, forget it. This is ridiculous. So I did take everything out of the freezer and it is in our like deep freezer, big freezer in the garage. And then I had to try to fit everything else in this refrigerator that we have. So I opted not to put the drinks in. There's no room anyway, and I'm still working on my coffee. Oh my gosh. So the drinks are just gonna hang out right here. So let me show you. Oh, here's some artwork that Pearl did. <laughs> All right, so this is what our refrigerator would look like if I only had one. I mean, everything is jam packed. I've got like things packed into here. I had to take, I had a little um, like tray, cheese and meat tray, and that would not fit in here. So I had to take all the little baggies out. We're gonna be using that for Halloween. And then that is jam packed. So, and that's not even everything. Like I jam packed the shelves and everything. So I couldn't fit one, the drinks in there. And then two, I like to keep my meat for the week in a little bowl like this. And there's no room in there. So. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the freezer. I need to double check what we're having for dinner tonight. And that way I'll just, as soon as we get that refrigerator plugged in, I'll take this out of the out of the freezer and put it in the refrigerator so I have it for the rest of the week. But yeah, I always get questions. I got this from the Dollar Tree. Absolutely love it because it helps keep me on track during the week. What I do at the end of the week on the weekend, I'll look at my meal plan, I'll pull out all the meat that I want to use and just put it in here. And it's just sitting in here, not on my kitchen shelf, just in case anything's leaking or anything like that, which rarely happens there's no leaks going on in here but this is our meat for the week so I need to go ahead and put this up I don't want this sitting out on the counter okay so I did get the fridge out of the laundry room so that's nice I'm gonna go ahead I put the meat up and now I'm gonna go ahead and use this opportunity um, Paige spilt some of the laundry beads and they went up under the fridge so I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum this stuff up. There's just a little bit of hair. Can you guys even see that? There's a little bit of hair. I don't know what this is. This is like a tag to something. So I'll put that in the trash, but I'm gonna go ahead and use this opportunity to vacuum this area. I'm just going to like wet mop it real quick and clean off the baseboard. Oh yeah, yeah I'm flying over the clouds and I'm not coming not too bad but definitely needed to mop that before anything else goes in this spot okay so it is a little after 11 now um i swap laundry over and then I went into the office and got some video work done for something that I'm putting out today so I was thinking about it and I was like you know what my refrigerator is jam-packed I was going to share with you guys something for dinner tonight that I was gonna cook just because I like to start including recipes into the vlogs type videos that I do I feel like you guys like that a lot 
So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and make lunch. That way Mark doesn't pick anything up. We've got enough food here. Like you guys saw, I've got a refrigerator full. So I went ahead and pulled out a recipe that is super easy to meal prep and something that I can go ahead and make like a dinner size, like a four serving, and Mark and I can have it for lunch today, and then we can have it for lunch tomorrow as well. So let me show you guys what I've got going on. Okay, so we are going to be making an every plate meal, and I would like to thank every plate for sponsoring this video. You guys know that I have been using them for a very long time, and I might include tonight's dinner as well because whenever I team up with them, they send me some recipes, but I always order from them anyway. I have my own account on their website, which is super easy to use, and I get dinners in. So this is actually something that they sent when they um, asked if I would share them again with you guys, which I absolutely love doing. So I figured this is something that my kids might, you know, be okay eating, might not, it just depends on how spicy it ends up being, but. My husband is all about spice, so I figured this would be something super easy to make for lunch, and then we would have enough for another lunch because it's just pork chops and rice. Now, I'm actually use, gonna use the carrots for something else. I have a bag salad that I'm gonna use for lunch today, so I figured, the, I mean, the carrots would be super easy for me to just add into kid lunches or put a little yummy sweet glaze on them and that kind of thing, so I'm not gonna be doing the carrot part for lunch, but I am gonna make the pork chops and the rice. So this is everything that they sent. I love how everything is pre-portioned, so there's not a lot of waste going on. I didn't have to go out and buy specific sauces or anything, so I love that. So we've got some pork chops, some green onions, the rice, I love it. I'm white rice, I love that. And then this ponzu citrus seasoned soy sauce and dressing, I've never used that before. My husband is a huge fan of sriracha, so we've got some of that going on, some hoisin sauce, garlic, and ginger. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cooking this up and then tell you guys a little bit more about every plate while I am making lunch for the hubby and I. So their directions have you cook the rice on the stove. And speaking of directions, they're super easy. I mean, it's six really easy directions. It's actually gonna be less than that for me since I'm not doing the carrots. So this definitely um, is gonna be a quick lunch, but I love using my Instant Pot. So that's what I'm gonna do. I opened the bags just to show you. It's about a cup and a half of dry rice that they sent. So I'm just pouring that in. And then to that, I'm gonna add two and a half cups of water and no I'm not rinsing my rice this time so if you guys rinse your rice um, it'll be less sticky if you don't rinse your rice you'll have sticky rice which I love doing when I'm having some kind of meat with like a sauce on it I love sticky rice so I just use my hands are clean but I just stir that up just a bit I'm gonna close my lid always make sure it is sealing not venting or your instant pot will not come to pressure and then mine has this handy dandy rice button which it just puts your pot on low pressure so whatever you have to do to get to that low pressure and it's gonna cook for 12 minutes no matter the amount of rice that you have in here okay so now that my rice is going I'm gonna go ahead and prep the rest of the ingredients cook the pork chops I mean, this was definitely a super quick lunch, but if you guys are interested in trying out every plate, they gave me an awesome code, which is Lemonade M3, and that's gonna get you three weeks of meals for just $2.99 each. I mean, they are already the best value meal kit, and it's delivered right to your door, and then I love that they give me an extra code to give you guys, just to give you that little bit of extra off when they're already super affordable. So you're definitely gonna wanna try them out. Like I've mentioned many times, I use them all the time, whether I am being sponsored or not. I still have my own sign up and login with them that I use, and if you guys use them, you don't have to be a social media influencer or online at all to get a great discount. They have a great program where you can share your own code once you 
sign up and give it to your friends and families. And then you get a little bit of kickback to that to use on your own food. And then you just end up paying shipping, which is $8.99. So I absolutely love using them, especially as we're getting into this super busy season to not have to worry about meal planning and going to the grocery store for certain ingredients. This definitely helps out a lot. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish whipping up this lunch and then get right back into organizing and cleaning out the fridge. So don't forget to check out every plate's link down below in the description box so you guys can see how easy and affordable their meal kit is. And a big thank you again to every plate for sponsoring today's video. Okay, lunch is served. So this bag salad kit that I picked up, it is not even close to the 18th and that was the best by date. It looks pretty sad. So hopefully it tastes okay, but like I said, it does look sad. I almost wish I would have just went ahead and made the carrots to go with this, but that's okay. We need to eat this up, but looks yummy. Merck is about to walk in the door. So I do have lunch for us. And then I did go ahead and make, I left the top one open so you could see, I went ahead and cut it up just so it's easier at lunchtime, but I've got the other two pork chops in two containers here and then some rice. I did put salt and pepper on the rice. So I'm going to get these in the fridge somewhere. I can fit those in there, but at least, you know, we've got another lunch. I just spent a little time in the kitchen and we are good for two meals. So I rarely make us lunch like this. He doesn't come home a whole lot. So this is gonna be nice to be able to sit down with him, chit chat while we're eating lunch and then get back to my big thing of the day, which is cleaning out the fridges. And hopefully, like I said, that other one is delivered so I can reorganize and all of that. But that's our every plate of lunch for today. Okay, so lunch was good. It was definitely pretty spicy now i can't handle a whole lot of spice so mark was like yeah it's a little spicy but it's fine and here i am like nose is running and i'm like oh, it's so hot i went through almost two of my little lacroix sparkling waters i am such a wimp when it comes to spice but the flavor was really good so i'm really excited to eat it tomorrow we just he just helped me he's back at work but we got the refrigerator out into the garage and i'm hoping that if this outlet is okay because we had our like i mentioned already the bigger fridge that we sold out here and i couldn't have that fridge and our big freezer plugged into the same outlet it would turn off so we had it my garage is a mess so we just had our house guests leave so we've got extra room now that's a trash mattress that we have to take um to the dump but now we can really reorganize and put our garage back together. Anyway, I'm getting off track. There's an outlet right here. So this is where we had the fridge, just kind of like hanging out because all of his stuff was here. So the fridge was just right here, but I'm really hoping that this works. Everything's fine right now. You can see the light on and I can hear this one running. So I had it in, we have it in an extension cord because of the way the little plugs are. They won't both fit right here. So. I'm hoping that works and this will, you know, be perfect for us. I think it'll work. So this is our big freezer. It is a hot mess right now. I'm not even going to open it and show y'all because it's seriously like so much stuff because I have the stuff that's in here in there and the one inside is, um, it's not like super full, but like I said, I don't like things to be jam packed where I can't see what I have. So that's one of the reasons why I'm very thankful that we have 
that we are going to have the three fridges so I can organize a little better and always know what I've got. So I'm not going to put anything in this freezer just yet. I want to wait until our other one gets here, but since this is working just fine, it's still actually pretty cold because I had it closed the whole time. I mean, it's only been about two hours, three hours. Um, since it's been un unplugged, but I'm gonna go ahead and bring all of our drinks And that's what this fridge is going to be It's gonna mainly be for drinks and then any kind of like overflow if we need it So I'm gonna go ahead and get the drinks that were in the other fridge out here And then we have some extra drinks in the pantry that aren't cold yet that I can bring and go ahead and fill this up Never knew that it could feel this way when you lie next to someone. You don't even need to play pretend cause you find the way you are. I want to know you better. Give me every detail. I won't judge you as you know. Could stay forever when you're lying in my arms. My heart is open, it just took some time. Now I just hope that you stay for a little while. You fix what's broken when you make that smile. So just stay for a little Okay, so this, I know it's a little dark. We've only got the garage opener light and then one little light bulb in here. Eventually when we get to the garage, it'll be brighter in here. But this is what our drink fridge is looking like right now. Now, typically we would have a lot more sparkling water and Coke Zero, but um, I am in between shopping hauls. So that's what I've got left to get me through the rest of this a week. And then I'll be stocking back up this weekend on that. And then I haven't been able to find really Coke Zero lately. So I've been drinking a lot of the protein 2Os and all of that. And then typically I don't have this many of these Premier Protein drinks. Oh, it's too dark. Anyway, I don't have, I typically don't have this many, but they were in the back of my pantry because we just didn't have the room to keep them in the fridge, so <laughs> I forgot that I had them. So I'm really excited to start incorporating those back into my morning coffees, but this is everything I've got in here. And then, oh, typically we do have like Monsters or Bangs for Mark and Zevias, but like I mentioned, we're kind of in between grocery hauls right now. So we've got this going on. Now, one little thing, I do keep the kids' drinks. I mean, other than the Gatorade Zeros, I keep these in these little bins because I used to just stack them up, but the kids, neighborhood kids, whenever you know somebody's over here, if they're having sleepovers, the kids will come in here and grab some and then knock them down and there it just makes a big old mess. So this works perfectly. There's no knocking down. They just pull one out and they are good to go. So we've got plenty of juice boxes because I'm actually not making lunches right now for the kids because they get to eat free at the school for the rest of this year for 2020. So I don't know about the school year, but I know as far as through December, their lunches are free. So I haven't been making their lunches unless they specifically ask me to. So these juice boxes are definitely gonna last me a lot longer than I originally expected. That is what the fridge is looking like right now. The one in the garage at least. All right, oh my hair is just sticking out everywhere. <laughs> so now I'm just waiting for the other refrigerator to show up. Um, I think it said like the latest was 6 p.m. tonight, so we shall see, but I'm gonna set you guys down for a little while and hopefully, like I said, the fridge shows up today. Otherwise, you'll see me looking a little different because I'll just keep that clip going. I'll just keep the fridge organization going in one video. And then once that fridge is here, I will bring you guys along with me while I clean that one out a little bit, clean this one out a lot of bit and then kind of reorganize and then give you guys a little quick tour of the freezer and the refrigerator. So 
You guys are gonna be put down for a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and start whipping up something for the kids for after school. That'll be in another video if it's already been out because I don't know when this one's gonna go out. I will link it up in the iCards and the description box. Otherwise, if it's not linked, then that means it hasn't posted yet and that will be in a future video. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that going and then hopefully I will see you guys again before the end of today. Okay, here she is. I'm so excited. Yay. So like I said, this has been the fridge that we had our eye on for most of this year and we finally got it. So I was, I was looking for something that didn't have any wasted space. So we don't have, we don't need water or ice in this refrigerator and plus there's no hookup for that. So I felt like that was just always wasted space. And then I really wanted something that was completely fridge on the top. So that way, when you opened it, if I had like big trays or anything like that, I had this whole space. So they came like right before I had to go pick up the kids. So I said, just put it in here, plug it in, and I will do all the like, like normally they take all this stuff up, this stuff off. I said, I will do that because I've got to go. I didn't want to be late picking the kids up from school. So everything's still on it and I've got to, like I said, clean it up. I'm going to wipe it down and all of that. But this is what I have been waiting for and I am super, super happy to have it. So, and then I wanted the fridge on the top like this, but I didn't want a basket freezer because those are just really hard to keep organized. So I love this one. Hold on. It's taped. There, I can't even open it. There we go. Because it's two different freezers and it's just baskets. So nothing on the door. And because it's here in the laundry room, I still have plenty of room. I mean, my butt is touching this when I'm like standing back a little bit and bending down, but I feel like this was the most, um, the best use of the space that we have here in the, in the laundry room. So we'll have lots of little um, drawers here. And well, these are shelves actually. And then these down here are drawers, but they're taped. So I thought this would be great. I'll probably utilize this at least one section for page and then it'll just be overflow. But you guys will see that once I really start um, cleaning it out and organizing it. So I'm not gonna film me cleaning this up and taking all the stickers off because I don't know, I just feel like that's gonna be hard. I'm gonna wanna just get it done and I'll have to move the camera around and all of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this all cleaned up, all the packaging off, all of that. And then you guys will come along with me as we put things in here and organize it and organize the other one and all of that. But I am very, very excited that it is finally here. Ugh. All right, now I gotta get to work. Okay, so the laundry room fridge is cleaned out. All the tape and plastic wrap and all that is off of it. And I was trying to think of what would be the easiest. I was starting to go through this fridge and just pull things out and take them over there. And then I was like, wait a minute. I don't know yet how I want to organize everything because I think I'm gonna change a few things around. So I am just going to, and here you guys can have one more look at how jam packed this is. I'm gonna go ahead and take all of this stuff out because I do want to just give this one a fresh wipe down. I don't think it's that bad, but I never know until I take everything out. So I'm gonna go ahead and take everything out and just lay it out like these are the few things these are the few things that I started to take out. So I'm, only, I'm going to empty this fridge, clean it out, and then I will be able to see exactly everything I have and where I want to keep it. Like which fridge would, you know, work the best for us for at least right now. We'll start off with one system and, and see how that works. So this is a lot of stuff though. <laughs> this is a lot of stuff and it's already four o'clock. So I need to get to work. That way I can whip up some dinner here in about an hour and a half. So we'll see if I can finish this in time. So just stay for a little as honest as you are The way you make me feel at night when I am vulnerable and 
it's cold outside But you make it all right I wanna know you better Give me every detail I won't judge you as you know I could stay forever is emptied and I just did a quick wipe down I mean I'm gonna wait until maybe the end of December or beginning of January there's a couple like crumbs and stuff stuck but like I said I'm just doing a quick wipe down since it's so close to dinner time <laughs> so they probably could be cleaned a little bit more but I think they look fine I don't know if you guys can see there there's just a few little pieces using the Clorox wipes this time since we've been out for so long I just wanted everything to just get a quick wipe down and that will work for the time being so everything's out i've got everything over here and then i've got some over here and over there now i'm gonna go ahead and put things up and i'll do that off camera because i know it's going to be a lot of back and forth and moving the camera around that way i can just get it done and then i will show you guys the final look if i add anything back out into the refrigerator in the garage. I don't think I'm going to, but if I do, I'll show you guys that, but I'll for sure show you what this one ends up looking like and the laundry room fridge as well. So it is about 5.10 and I am done for today because I need to stop, focus on a couple other things and then get dinner going. So let me show you guys how I have the refrigerator set up for now. So in this one, up here, I've got our drinks. We've got milk, orange juice, cranberry juice, and this is white grape juice. Then here is kind of like our leftover station for right now. Sometimes we have more leftovers and sometimes we don't have any, so this is actually pretty good. Sometimes we have a ton. So I've got the lunches for Mark and I tomorrow. And then this is a taco dip that I made earlier in the week. So I've got that with a can of black olives cottage cheese we like to have on hand because Pearl and I love having this on our salad. I did move the two packages or containers of eggs in here and then you guys are going to see the box is in the other one. I keep forgetting that I have this because I always have it in a different refrigerator not in this one front and center so I kind of left the things that I use for various recipes right here. So I've got the Chef Chamois garlic butter. Good thing this lasts forever. It's good until like February 2021. So, and I've had this for a couple months and we have just never even, it's not even opened. It's still sealed. So I wanted this front and center. Minced garlic I use in a lot of things. Beef base, buttermilk. And then back here, I've got some Parmesan cheese. Right here, I just have the snack zone right now. I used to keep the snack zone in the laundry room, but I feel like the kids and Mark and I will eat these more often if we see them, because sometimes there has been points where I've thrown away a few things because we just don't see them and we don't eat them, and they are well past their expiration date. So I put the little snack zone right here. I left these pumpkin rolls right here because I'm gonna make these tomorrow for breakfast, I think. And then in here, Oh, this is a little over, over filling. I'm gonna have to fix that. So I put in this little container like our meats. So I've got pepperonis, some Canadian bacon. I am gonna end up putting half of this in the freezer. I just haven't opened it yet, so it's fine. Bacon crumbles we use on a lot of stuff. This is deli turkey. Um, I buy it in bulk. I've got two packages in the freezer, so we just put it in a little glass container, and that's what we use to hold to hold the turkey that we've opened. I've got some shredded mozzarella cheese back here and then a loaf of bread. I like to keep our bread in the refrigerator because it definitely lasts a very long time like that. And we really don't, we've kind of gotten out of the sandwich phase right now. It's like hit or miss. The kids love it and then they'll go weeks without having it. So if I keep the bread in the refrigerator, it lasts for a very long time. Okay, like I already mentioned, I mean, this is pretty well stocked. We have a lot of veggies, but we are at the end of a grocery period. so. 
our fruit is pretty much non-existent other than a few apples and oranges. So we've got plenty of carrots, some asparagus, some lettuce, two cucumbers down here. And then in here, I'm actually gonna be cooking these up tonight with dinner. So I've got two small packages of mushrooms and then some basil. What do we got here? Mint and rosemary for some recipes. Okay, and then we come to the door. So up here, I just went ahead and took all the butter out of the boxes. That way they fit better and I could just stack them. So this is all of our butter. We've got some whipped cream cheese, no bagels though. So I might need to buy some bagels. That way we can use that before it goes bad. In this shelf, I kind of put the stuff that we use the most often. So we've got sour cream, mayo, ketchup, mustard back there is soy sauce and then our salad dressings that we love ranch and then the olive garden then down here i kind of just put the extra like flow over stuff so we've got lemon juice lime juice relish my husband loves hot sauce on a lot of dishes so we've got two different kinds of that and then just various other condiments same thing right here i've got some condiments and then i made mississippi I don't think I made Mississippi chicken. I made Mississippi roast a while ago. So I need to go ahead and put that back on the menu. Oh, there's a little piece of like dog hair everywhere, I swear. Um, <laughs> sorry. We, I need to put this back on the menu because I don't even know how long this has been open. As you can see, I don't use that many. So let me know how long you guys would keep this open in your fridge because this has been in here for a while. I've got some um, doughs and stuff for things that I have coming up that I'm gonna be making. And then we've got kind of like the sweet stuff down here for desserts and drinks and, and things like that. We don't use these that often either. So I put those down at the bottom. So that is a look in my kitchen. This door doesn't stay open either, <laughs> but that's a look at my kitchen fridge. Now let's head into the laundry room. Okay, so a laundry room. Let me go ahead and open this up. And as you can see, I've got a lot of space and I absolutely love it. So up here I have our bacon. I feel like this takes up a lot of room in the refrigerator in the kitchen. So I'll just leave it up here. And then this is a variety cheese pack. I picked several things up because I'm not quite sure what we're doing for Halloween yet. And they're good forever. This I actually had in the freezer because I didn't have enough room in the fridge. So I just pulled this out and I'm leaving this up here so we can start making some yummy cookies. Here's our overflow of eggs. This is another thing I went ahead and pulled out of the freezer. This is some rice that we had left over a while ago and I just put it in a bag and froze it. I have to make dog food tomorrow. So I went ahead and pulled that out. And then this is also a little um, recipe that I'm working on, some cherries. This is These ones are actually soaking in vodka right now. So I'm gonna be doing something fun with that. And then this is my every plate stuff. So I love these bins. I used to keep this stuff in the condiments and stuff that they send in the little baggies but I love this because it's just right here and I can pull it out. So I've got all the things that I need for my dinners for the next few nights in here. And then I did pull this out of the freezer. It was in there long enough to where it's rock hard, but I think what we're making tonight, I need the chicken. So I'm gonna have to take that out or maybe, I don't know, I might make something else for dinner tonight and then start tomorrow with the rest of our meals. That way the meat can just sit in here and thaw overnight and be good. But this is normally what I do. I keep my meat, like I already told you guys, in this bowl, in the fridge. So I set those in here. And then down here I kind of have like our extra cheeses and these non-bites. This is another thing I picked up with Halloween in mind and they'll be good in the fridge. I do need to do some meal prep because I don't have any shredded cheese. So I've got two blocks here that I need to shred up. This Parmesan was a something I got it free by buying something else so I've got that I've got some blueberry vanilla goat cheese this is going to be super yummy for the holidays and this is good for a while as well and then Mark brought home like a little gift basket from a vendor from his office and it had this gouda cheese in it so we've got this gouda cheese this one I did have that meat and cheese tray that was too big to put in my fridge. So I threw the tray in the recycle and then I just have these baggies. So we'll use this for Halloween as well, but these are good until I think January. So I just shoved those back there and I've got quite a few zucchini. Um, I picked up some for a recipe that I'm gonna be making and then I have a few that are gonna go with dinner. So I just put them all right here. On this door, I put our, all of our cream cheese and then our extra sour cream because the one in the kitchen is almost done. So this will be our backup. 
And then I didn't want the top drink area to be too full, so I went ahead and put my coffee stuff in here because my coffee pot, I'll show you guys real quick, ignore the dirty laundry. My coffee pot is right here, so I can just make my coffee and then I can just come in here and pull my stuff and I figured that would be okay. So I just left those right here and then on this door I kind of have my daughter's thing. So if you guys are new, my oldest daughter Paige is 16 and she um, lives a relatively vegan lifestyle. So I like to keep her stuff separate so she's not searching for it. She knows exactly where her stuff is. and. Like I mentioned like a m million times. Um, she normally has more than this, but we are in between. She needs to let me know what she wants for the next coming week. So she's got this dressing here, her butters, um, her almond milk, the rest of them. We buy this in bulk as well, but it's shelf stable until you open it. So the rest of her box is in the pantry. She just has one out at a time. Cinnamon rolls that she enjoys, and then some vegetable base that she uses in a lot of recipes. So that is what the refrigerators look like now i have run out of time for today so i have not organized any of the freezers but i did bring some of Paige's stuff in here like i said she doesn't have too much going on right now but again i like to keep her stuff separate so these are all the things that i found that she enjoys down here oops right here i meal prepped some pancakes for her she's got several left so these are some vegan chocolate chip pancakes for her to enjoy and this one, she's got plenty of hamburgers. She's just like my other kids. She goes through phases where she is living on hamburgers for a while or the, you know, the plant-based burgers, and then she won't eat them for a while. So I just recently picked this one up for her and she hasn't touched it yet. And then she's been obsessed with this Beyond Meat, Beyond Sausage. So she's got one left in there. So I've got that going on. And then up here, she's just got a mixture of some beefless, um, ground stuff right there, some meatballs. Back there is a uh, the Trader Joe's vegetable fried rice back there. And then this is actually, I get lots of questions when we shared that um, Paige got a snake. Everybody was curious what that snake ate. And no, we do not feed him live mice. We actually buy them frozen. So he's got, she's got a mouse right there for her snake that he eats one a week. I got a lot of questions on that. So once a week, one mouse and it's already frozen and it just hangs out in the freezer in a little bag. So this was the only freezer that I touched that I kind of added things to and this will be Paige's. I thought since it was right here and then her other stuff was right here that that would be nice and easy for her. All right, you guys, so I hope this video wasn't too long. I wanted to, I get a lot of questions of, you know, giving freezers and fridges and pantry tours and stuff like that. So I thought since we were finally getting this one in, it would be the perfect time to bring you guys along a little bit do a little bit of cleaning, reorganizing, and showing you guys what's in my fridge. I think in another video I'll do the freezer one or maybe next time I go to the grocery store I'll do the grocery haul and then maybe I'll share like meal prepping because I really need to do some um, food prep and stuff like that. I've gotten away from that the past few weeks and it definitely helps to prep your stuff if you have the time. So maybe I'll do that and then give you guys a glimpse into my freezers when I'm reorganizing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click on the link down below to go check out every plate. I absolutely love getting my meals from them. It takes a lot of stress out of the meal planning and their quick fast meals super easy with their six steps to follow so don't forget to check out that link a big thank you to every plate again for sponsoring this video give this video a big thumbs up subscribe if you are new and i will see you guys in the next one bye